Hi, this is Richard from Animate.com and in this video on Blender's Shader Node Editor and Texture Coordinates, we are going to twist, turn, spin and rotate our coordinates. Of course, the rotation slots of the mapping node will be very centered in this video, so let's jump right in. For setting up our twisted coordinates, we first build a three-dimensional grid that helps us to see what our coordinates do. So let's add a material to our cube, but use an emission shader instead of the principal. I use the rendered viewport and I use cycles rather than EV to not have to recompile shading every time I add a node. So first we add a texture coordinate node to use its object coordinates and a convert to separate XYZ node to split the axis components into three values. The grid we're making shall make a line at each unit along each axis, so we add a math node and set it to fraction. This is what we call a sawtooth function, a bunch of rams for each unit along the axis. But we just want a line at a particular part of these rams, so we add a math node set to greater than for each axis. Eventually, for spatial lines, we multiply two axis ramp parts respectively for the third axis. Let's combine the three resulting values as RGB color and plug it in the emission shader. We see the axis lines of the texture space we are currently using. So now we are ready to twist our coordinates and see it happen in real time. If we add a vector mapping node between the texture coordinates and separate XYZ, then we can rotate the coordinates with a variable value, for example by using the z-axis of the object coordinates. Add a separate XYZ node for this. But to define the rotation we need an XYZ vector as rotation input for the mapping node, so let's add a converter combine XYZ node. Connect it to the rotation slot and changing its set value should already rotate all grid lines equally. But for twisting along an axis, we want a different rotation for each point on that axis. Let's connect the set output of the separate node with the set input of the combined node. And we see the twist. All XY planes have different angles and the blue lines that go along the set axis get twisted along the way. So you see, twisting is not that complicated. Rather than using a separate and combined node, we could as well use a vector math node set to multiply with zeros in the x and y values and a factor in the set value. Notice that we can offset the location of the coordinates along the set to get twisted motion. Let's frame these nodes and label it twist. Let's hit the like button and subscribe to then change the texture to something more interesting than the grid. I add a gradient texture and a noise texture. I want to fade from the center and connect object coordinates to the gradient texture since the fade shall not twist, but will use twisted clouds. So we connect the twisted coordinates to the noise texture. If we multiply the two textures we get a sphere with twisted noise. Adding some more variation with adding the textures and coloring the clouds will quickly result in some magic dust lifting with a glowing center. Let's switch the mesh to an icosphere by adding one in edit mode and deleting the cylinder. With this small volume of the sphere we see almost no twisting, so let's amplify that by adding a multiply node for the set coordinate that drives the rotation. And I'd like to add some cracked glass material to the surface, so I add a principal BSDF. Adding an input layer weights facing output to the alpha property of the shader makes for a nice transparency fade. To get some detail into the surface, I duplicate the noise texture and tone map it using a converter color ramp node, set the color markers and plug that into an added vector bump nodes height input. The bump nodes output can then be plugged into the normal input for the shader. 
we see the effect it has and can adjust the noise parameters so that our orb is ready for some mysterious magic from the dark ages. Let's look at another way to rotate coordinates. Twirl. For this we create a cylinder and add a texture coordinate node to its shader. Let's select the orb to reuse the grid texture. We select all nodes from the twist frame and copy the nodes. To then paste them in the cylinder shader. We will change this node setup soon for turning coordinates. But to see our coordinate math, we also copy the grid texture nodes. We should have done that together with the twist nodes, but here we are now. So let's select the grid frame and copy these to the cylinder shader. Connect the twist output to the grid texture's first node, so that the mapping's rotation shall increase the farther relocation is from the cylinder's center. So let's add a converter vector math node and set its type to multiply. Connect the reroute to input and set the second vector values to 110. Duplicate the node and set the type to length in order to get just the horizontal distance to drive our twirling. So we connect that value to the math node instead of the separate XYZ node. And we see how the coordinates draw horizontal spirals since the rotation increases with the distance to the center. We can get rid of obsolete nodes and group the nodes in the shader node group, which we can name as we like. We can do the same with our twist setup. So let's select the orb again, select all nodes in the twist frame and group the whole thing. Let's place it after the turning twirl group. If we enter the group and connect the multiplying factor to the group input, we can set the value from outside the group for more convenience. Ok, so we learned to rotate coordinates for screws and spirals with twists and twirls. In the next video we will learn how to create cylindrical and spherical coordinates which we can then offset twist and move along the curved axis to generate a complex tornado donut. But take your time and think of the possibilities you have now to make tornadoes and twisters with this setup. So much about uh, turning, twisting and bending our coordinates. Please have a look at my products on Blender Market. Subscribe to this channel to get notified if new videos are uploaded. And as always, happy blending. Bye.